Okay, we are live. Good morning, everyone. It is me, Peter, your host for today. And as you can see, I have the Huawei Huawei Y6P. This is the new smartphone of Huawei, uh, designed to give you a lot of um, value for money for its 5,990 price tag at 5,990 pesos. Uh, this is the first smartphone in its class with 4GB uh, of RAM, 64GB of storage, 5,000mAh of battery, and a triple camera setup with an ultra-wide camera. Meron kasing ibang may triple camera but not uh, ultra-wide yung gamit nila sa isang sensor non. Anyway, good morning. Uh, shout out kay Luis Gian Santa Ana. Shout out kay John Philip DB. Hindi ko mabasa yung pangalan na isa. Budget mid-range? No, this is not a budget mid-range. This is just an entry-level smartphone. Sabi ni Luis Gian Santa Ana, good morning. Good morning din sa'yo. And thank you for those who are tuning in today. Bago tayo mag-launch, ito muna yung gawin natin. Let's unbox this phone and I will discuss kung ano yung aking mga nakita sa kanya so far. Uh, si Greggy W... Uh, G, shout out po Hello, hello, hello uh, Thank you for watching today And let's begin So here, as you can see, it's the Huawei Y6P Si Jory, shout out, pahabol And the unit that I have is the Emerald Green The model number is MEDLX9 And it's not for sale <laughs> Because this is a review unit Baka isole natin to, most likely Anyway, ang first na nakita natin is this Obviously the phone yung phone itself uh, yan, out of the box, maganda siya eh. and then next is this I don't know if the official retail package will come with a case, but yung nasa akin is walang case, because this is the review unit, unboxing unit and may SIM ejector pin siya uh, SIM ejector pin will be used to open this pag inopen mo to, may kita mo na nalagyan ko na to ng SIM card eh smart prepaid <laughs> so triple slot siya uh, okay lang kahit hindi ka mabasa yung name mo <laughs> sabi ni Vicelin pa shout out thanks daw sa info sino tong isa hindi ah, ka mabasa wait lang ayan sa Agnus Day thanks sa info oh, may mga nagtatagtag na uy dumadami na tayo 82 viewers thank you so much for tuning in so here as you can see triple slot tray siya and that is better uh, at least hindi hybrid at least hindi single sim <laughs> pwede ka maglagay ng micro SD card um, and then sabi na yun sa con old chipset yeah. yeah we'll talk about that later then next silver okay, buhay, buhay na si silver hello si Ninya Sabata hi shout out sabi ni Macron Pak Pakay hello po <laughs> pa shout out naman sa so, dito topang DMCI Samora Pasay pili ko tuloy nasa radio ko <laughs> real me 3 or this mamaya mamaya uh, anyway, here, next one nakita is this cable, micro USB cable. May mga magtasabi dito, bakit hindi Type-C 2029, hindi pa rin Type-C? Guys, dagdagan nyo yung budget nyo kung gusto nyo ng Type-C. I'm just being honest. Uh, under, it's acceptable pa yung walang Type-C. Pero siguro pag tumaas-taas na ng konti, medyo may inis na ako na hindi pa rin Type-C. So here, okay lang Sabi ni James Patrick Alcantara May Google services po ba to? Lahat po ng bagong smartphones ni Huawei Wala ng Google uh, They're using Huawei mobile services instead And they have the app gallery Ayan, ang linaw linaw here App gallery May commercial pa sila dito Lagi pa sila may commercial Because it is a new product And anong gagawin mo pag meron kang bagong service? You promote it Diba? Anyway here I get this charger The charger is a 5... 5 volts ba? 5 volts 2 amps So at least 5 volts 2 amps siya uh, That is equivalent to 10 watts of charging Si Ace Cruz is watching our very good friend from Oppo <laughs> Hello pare uh, Shout out uh, Type C Reversible Oh mas madali talaga yung Type C But nga yun nga 5 Magkano lang to? 5,990 pesos Sa 5,990 pesos wag ka maghanap ng Type C Di ba? Uh, merong konti na may Type C sa under 5,000 Cherry Mobile? Cherry Mobile ba? May kapatid mo nanonood na si Anna Hello uh, uh, 
Next is si Pat, nag-good morning. Oh, shout out sa iyo. <laughs> si Remuel, hello daw. Oh, guys, guys, notice me please. Wag ka lang mag ikaw ba 'yan? Si Angelica nag <laughs> mag mali ka ng mali ka ng comment ah. Pero di siguro big deal. Eh, pwede siya lagyan ng apps of course. May mga may mga method on how we will use it. And now I want I want to discuss yung build niya. Yung build niya, it looks very premium for the price. Ah. Imagine, this is a 6,000 peso smartphone. But yung design niya, it reminds me of the Huawei P20 Lite. Or P30 Lite. Ang ganda ng design niya. Ah, isa to sa mga... Uh, uh, I can call na pretty. <laughs> so here, may fingerprint scanner siya here. And I'm testing it. Mabilis naman yung fingerprint reader niya. Hmm. Uh, Oh, bihira nga mga Cherry Mobile eh. pero bihirang bihira talaga yung Type C sa under 6,000 pesos eh. Oh, tapos triple cam. So you get the triple camera setup and then meron siyang LED flash here. Sabi ni FJ Parks, pa shout shout out boss. Si RJ Marquez, uh, schoolmate natin is watching na rin. Anyway, uh, sa ilalim here you get to see that it has a micro USB port yan, micro USB port. And then you get a 3.5 mm jack. Yes, 3.5 mm jack. Meron pa rin siyang headphone slot. And here you get a single speaker. I think meron siyang ano, earphones. Ayun, hindi ko na pakita. Ayun, may earphones siya. Meron siyang earphones. And I think this is an earphones with microphone. May microphone siya. Oh, tingnan natin. Mhm. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Here. Uh, and then but just don't expect too much from this type of earphones. Maybe Uh, good enough na siya for casual listening At least may 3.5 jack siya And meron siyang single button here Binabalik ko siya na maayos sa case Kasi gagawa ko pa siya ng isa pang video <laughs> So ibabalik natin Na may kukwento ko specs ng konti uh, So so far ako happy ako sa build nito ah. uh, Medyo makapal siya ng konti At 9.04mm that, But that is because of That is because of its large 5,000 mAh battery. May nagtatanong, metallic frame ba siya, sir? Hindi siya metallic frame. This is a polycarbonate shell. Meaning, plastic. In short, plastic shell. So, plastic shell siya na merong uh, 2.5D glass. Yung sa likod niya, this one is not glass, ha? This one is not glass. It is glass thick. Sabi ni Bell... Eva Raimundo Hello po Like pre order kami yesterday For the price Looks reasonable naman siya I've been using Huawei for 3 years Oh, nice one Now, Actually For the price niya ako Wala akong halos reklamo eh This is a phone na balanced Yung specs Guys, hindi lahat gamers ah Hindi lahat gusto ng uh, gaming phone <laughs> Yung iba gusto ng phone na maganda yung design Maganda yung screen uh, This is a phone that I can consider Na maganda yung screen for For the price And mataas yung storage, mataas yung battery, di ba? May nagtatanong, Gorilla Glass ba siya? Hindi eh. Walang sinabi if Gorilla Glass eh. Feeling ko hindi siya Gorilla Glass. So ngayon, let's do a quick rundown ng specs. Display niya 6.3 inch. Uh, coming from Huawei Y6s and Huawei Y6 Pro, yung mga yon gumagamit lang sila ng 6.09 inch display. Although may notch din sila. But this time, This one is a uh, 6.3 inch, so it is bigger. And yung gamit niyang type of panel is a TFT LCD IPS display. Medyo confusing, but it in short IPS siya. And as you can see here, maganda naman yung kanyang color reproduction. Okay naman yung kanyang viewing angles, and it can go quite bright. Ayan, ayan. Pag nakita mong dumilim yung background ko, ibig sabihin maliwanag talaga 'yon. Pag binabaan ko yung brightness, ayan. Adjust lang natin yung brightness para sa para maganda tingnan sa screen. <laughs> And then, yung gamit niyang display na yon, meron siyang mga display settings na sa display and brightness, pwede kang maglagay ng eye comfort mode. Uh, enable ulit. Yan. Pag may eye comfort mode ka, medyo maninilaw siya ng konti. Pag nanilaw ng konti, ang mangyayari doon is babawasan niya yung blue light. Pag binawasan niya yung blue light, it will be safer to use sa mata kasi hindi siya masyadong masakit. Pag magbabasa ka And hindi siya masyado nakaka-strain ng mata Meron pa siyang e-book mode oh. Hindi ko alam kung ano e-book mode na to Ay, eh, ganun din And then meron siyang dark mode obviously Because this is Android 10 Android 10 with uh, EMUI 10.1 Medyo bago-bagong uh, OS So, maganda siya Ako siya di okay. Happy ako sa kanya And then meron din siyang drawer style 
yung mga drawer niya. So, pwede kang pumili ng kung gusto mong with drawer. Parang ganito. Uh, medyo stock like Android. Wala siyang Google Play Store, guys. Walang Google Play Store. Wala pa. Wala. Uh, ang gamit niya is Huawei App Gallery. Huawei Mobile Services. Uh, matagal nang walang Google si Huawei. Maliban sa mga luma nilang devices. Yung mga luma nilang devices, hindi pa rin mawawala ng Google yun. Like si no Huawei P30 and more. Lahat ng bagong Huawei phones ngayon is using the Huawei App Gallery. And it is... Uh, based on its own Huawei mobile services so, Huawei App Gallery is currently the third largest app store And marami naman siyang apps I'll, I'll talk about that in a bit uh, Discuss muna natin yung kanyang display So anyway, nakita ko na yung drawer Balik ko muna siya sa default Para madali ko makita yung mga apps Happy ako sa screen niya Meron siyang notch here And makikita mo sa taas ng notch niya Meron siyang ear speaker And then, may nagtatanong kanina If na-hide ba yung notch I think na-hide yung notch Ay, hindi, wala. Wala atang option. Wala atang option to hide the notch. And okay lang naman kasi maliit lang naman siya eh. So far, ang only uh, medyo complain ko sa kanyang display is medyo malaki yung shin bezel. Ito, ito, ito. Medyo malaki siya here. But that is understandable. For example, I have here the Realme C3. Ito yung kanyang kakompetensya talaga. Realme C3, makapal din yung shin bezel eh. Di ba? So, understandable yung mga medyo makakapal na bezels at this price point. Even yung mga pinakasulit na smartphones in its class like this one. And this, for me, sila yung mga sulit talaga at this price point. And then next is the processor. Ito yung medyo ako hindi masyadong happy. Yung processor niya, it is using the MediaTek Helio P22 Octa-Core processor. It is a 12 nanometer chip. 12 nanometer chip, okay naman yun eh. Uh, okay naman yun sa heat. Uh, dissipation, okay naman yung thermal management nun uh, 12 nanometer, matagal din yung battery nun uh, 2.0 gigahertz that is not bad actually however, however, however coming from the Huawei Y6S Huawei Y6S kasi naka Helio P35 na eh Helio P35 is the how do you call this? Uh, halos similar sila ni Helio P22 but si Helio P35 higher clock speed and may support sa full HD screen. Anyway, mam sana ni-retain na lang nila 'yon. Sana ni-retain nila 'yung chipset na 'yon. If ni-retain nila 'yon here, malamang walang magrereklamo masyado talaga. But since na it's now down to the Helio P22, doon ako medyo may concern. But if you are a casual user, for example, you just do Facebook, you just do uh, casual games, basic games, uh, and mas priority mo yung more RAM I can still say that this is an upgrade coming from the Y6S Triple cam Single cam lang si Y6S diba? uh, Bigger screen, smaller screen si Y6S Si Y6S, 3000 mAh battery lang Ito, 5000 mAh battery So overall, I think this is still an upgrade coming from that smartphone However, yun nga, sana talaga niretain nila yung Helio P35 Yun lang, minor minor uh, Major, major <laughs> Anyway Y6 Pro naman is Helio A22 Mas mataas yung ano Helio P22 kaysa sa A22 Si Helio A22 kasi It is just a quad-core chip Pero decent yun for the price Niya dati But right now of course Sana at least octa-core processor At 6,000 pesos price range Next is the RAM Dito ako masaya sa kanya eh. RAM Yung RAM niya is 4 gigs na Dati pag bibili ka ng smartphone na may 4GB of RAM, kailangan mo mag-shell out ng at least 10,000 pesos or 12,000 pesos. Pinakauna yatang may 4GB of RAM is a Zenfone. Zenfone 2. Yeah, Zenfone 2. Yeah. And that time, I think parang 15,000 pesos siya. But this time, now at 6,000 pesos, makakabili ka na ng smartphone with 4GB of RAM. And ano bang effect nun? Pag mas mataas yung RAM mo, mas makakapag-multitask ka. Mas smoother yung transition. Even if hindi sobrang taas yung chipset nyo, compensate niya ng kahit papano yung uh, bawas sa lag. So, so far, habang ginagamit ko siya, it don't feel like a high-end phone, of course. Pero for its price point, reasonable naman yung kanyang transitions, reasonable yung kanyang resolution, uh, I mean, reasonable yung kanyang speed overall when scrolling apps and more. Sabi ni Eunice de Jesus Navarrete, kailan release nito? Uh, double check ko. I think, Mm, ongoing name pre-order niya Ongoing name pre-order niya to You can pre-order it And may freebies piyata siyang worth 3,000 pesos Pag nag-pre-order ka May kasamang headset Although wala ako nung headset dito eh Kasi hindi naman ako nag-pre-order This is just a review unit Anyway Going back 
yung next niya is 64 gigs of storage. 64 gigs of storage is large, considered as large for a budget phone. Kasi dati parang magkano lang yung mga ganito? <laughs> Di ba? Dama si Jairus. Back in 2017, 464, 20K. <laughs> Ngayon, 464, 5,990 pesos. Uh, Di ba? So... Ako, masaya na ako sa kanya, sa ganun. And then you get 5,000 mAh big battery. Yesterday, I was doing a looping video test. Kasi unfortunately, nakalock pa yung mga benchmarks niya. Sabi ni Emmanuel Laura, muntik na ako mag-comment, notify, MLID. <laughs> anyway, uh, nag-looping battery test ako. I started 1am, madaling araw. So, akala ko umaga, ulobat na siya eh. Pagdating ko ng umaga, pambira. Kalahati pa yung battery 10, 10 a.m. kalahati pa yung battery Ima- Imagine na 1, 1 a.m. Na madaling araw To 10 a.m. ng umaga Kalahati yung battery Natapos ko yung battery test ko Bago siya na-drain 6.30 p.m. na So ilang oras yun uh, hindi, may, may na ako sa mat eh Basta yun 1 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. So ang tagal bago na low bat So happy ako doon And may SIM card yun ah May SIM card May SIM card So tagal Tagal ng battery niya That is at least siguro 16 hours of usage um, Masaya na ako doon And then ito na Camera Ay, Actually charging Charging muna tayo Yung charging niya is not that impressive Kasi nga 10 watts lang naman yung charging niya eh. And do not expect na Merong mga 18 watts charger dito 20 watts charger Lalo na at this price point Normally, may mga super fast charging like this one. This, ano to? Realme uh, 6i. Realme 6i may 18 watts fast charging eh. Realme 6i, parang, how do you call this? Kano yan? 8,000 pesos. O, yun yung alam kong pinakamurang merong fast charging. This one is a 6,000 pesos. So, obviously, wala siyang fast charging. And that is understandable. ba? Diba? And then, Yung charging niya, 10 watts naman eh. So, hindi pa rin siya kagaya ng Apple na 1 amp, 1 amp lang, 5 volts na default charger. Bibili ka 60,000 pesos na smartphone. Yung charger na makakuha mo by default, 1 amp, 5 volts. Pambira. <laughs> at least to, at least to, uh, 10, 10 watts. 10 watts. So, in 10 watts charging na yon to cut the long story short, I was able to charge the phone from 0 to 100% in 2 hours and 40 minutes. Uh, 30 minutes difference siya compared sa may 18 watts charging like this one the Realme 6i pero hindi na masama yun ha hindi na masama yun for a 6k smartphone sabi ni Zook Pepe na pre-order na ako nice one anyway sabi pa ni Kobe Licious <laughs> sulit yan para sa 5k uh, Redmi 7 ko 5.8k to 16 lang yeah ito 464 anyway mm, cameras cameras nga at the back, ayun nga 13 megapixel f1.8 yung 13 megapixels f1.8 na yun, merong autofocus system, uh, normal autofocus wala siyang pit up sadly pit up sana mas maganda for better focusing uh, accuracy and speed, but at least meron siyang autofocus, so okay na yun and then you get a 5MP f2.2 120 degree ultra wide angle yes, 120 degree this is not common for a 6,000 peso smartphone yung may ultra wide lens and then you get a 2MP f2.4 the, the 2MP f2.4 is for depth sensing and then of course may LED flash siya compare dito sa Realme C3 Realme C3 ang gamit niya is macro and depth ako hindi ko ako okay lang ako kahit walang macro camera eh. basta ba pong kakalimutan yung ultra wide camera yung ultra wide camera kasi it is a uh, sensor that is used to capture more Para wider yung iyong field of view. So, let's give an example. Ito yung default 13 megapixel camera. Ito yung UI niya, di ba? Pag nag-switch ka to ultra-wide angle lens, mas malawak yung makikita mo. Di ba? Ito may nagsabi si EJ, Adrian, Cabanilla. Mas okay. C3 o ito? For me, if uh, tipong... Ayun, 17 hours. Na-correct na ako. Sabi siya, may ina ako sa mat eh. Anyway, <laughs> uh, may C3 or this? Hmm... If you are into gaming, C3. If you want a phone with bigger display, uh, C3. Bigger display to eh. Um, for me, overall, ako, mag-C3 ako. 
Well, doon mababa kasi yung storage niya eh. Uh, 3GB RAM lang to eh. Diba? But, if ikaw naman yung tipo ng user na priority mo is multitasking, social media, you want a camera phone, diba? This one is not actually bad. This is actually very, very competitive. So, pareha silang may strengths. So, depende na lang sa yung needs. So, anyway, balik tayo sa camera. Siyempre, nag-take ako ng mga photos to see if okay ba yung camera niya. And magte-take pa tayo ng photos. So, selfie. 8MP selfie camera. 8MP selfie camera in daylight. Uh, dahil siyempre, COVID season ngayon. Nakamaskara tayo. Nakaface mask tayo. Okay naman. Ayun, kita pa rin yung uh, pimple ko. Okay naman yung camera niya. Hindi naman OA okay yung ano. Uh, hindi, hindi ako pinam, hindi ako ginawang maputing maputi. Kasi ka naman, kayo manggi tayo, Pilipino. Ayan, ayan. Okay naman yung kukulay niya, di ba? Ito naman, when it comes to the camera, main camera, guys, tinan mo yung ano. Sa iba yan, medyo nang itim na yung, medyo itim na yung kulay nung tahon. But here, look, oh. Detailed pa rin siya. Zoom natin ng konti. Crop natin ng konti. Ay, nababasa. San Tulosiya High School. <laughs> diba? Video resolution niya, 1080p, 30fps. Uh, ito yung... Ito yung ultrawide. Yung ultrawide niya yan. Ultrawide camera niya dahil it is using a lesser sensor. Understandable na medyo off yung dynamic range dito. Ayan, medyo nang itim na yun dito. Hindi nakita yung green. And pansin mo, medyo dumilim na to. But at least, wider siya. At least wider siya. And normal naman yun sa mga ultrawide uh, camera. Ito, 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 guys. Ba? Green na green. Maganda yung, maganda, yung, maganda, yung, maganda yung kulay niya talaga eh. Medyo close na eh. To the actual color. Itong dahon-dahon na to eh. So, ultra-wide. Eh. Lesser dynamic range ulit. But it is wider. Understandable. Understandable for the price point. Uh, this is our dog. It's Max. <laughs> Cute. And Pwede na. Ako, masasabi ko pwede na siya for the price point eh. Ito, tinry ko yung bokeh effect. Nagbe-blur naman siya na maigi. Ayan. Medyo unnatural yung edges niya. But, again, this is a budget phone. Not a high-end phone. At least, medyo okay-okay na siya. And the next is... Ito yung kapit-pahay namin. Lagi kong pinipicturean kasi hindi ako makakalabas masyado eh. Sorry. <laughs> Okay naman. Okay, ito medyo okay yung ultra wide niya here. Yan. So, low light, I think I think nagkumuha rin ako ng low light eh. Ito ito sa pang-aso. Ayun, ayun, ayun. Cute. Yes, kisses. Oh, cute kisses oh. Diba? Tingnan pa tayo ng iba pa. To selfie, indoor selfie. Hmm. Nag-face beauty ako dito kasi medyo haggard ako eh. Uh, hindi ba vivid yung color niya? Medyo vivid siya, pero... Kasi medyo green yung dahon na yun eh. Medyo green talaga siya eh. Siguro konting lagpas lang ng saturation, ng mga two levels siguro. Pag binawasan mo yun ng ganun, makukuha mo na yung totoong kulay niya. Low light selfie. Soft. Soft yung low light selfie, obviously. Uh, pag gumamit ka ng screen flash, medyo lilinaw siya ng konti. Understandable. May pro mode to. Mamaya pakita ko yung pro mode. So here, meron ito yung night niya. Wala siya night mode Pero as you can see here guys Budget phone no Even in low light Iba Medyo pwede na eh Ayun know, Even yung ultra wide cam nyo Sabi ni Mel Kitna Kisa Yeah kit nga si Kisa <laughs> Yung ultra wide cam nyo Medyo decent pa rin How much po yan? 6,000 pesos 5,890 to be exact This is the Huawei Y6P uh, Take tayo ngayon ng indoor shot Yan pala yung nakalimutan kong yung isang earphones natin. Kunin natin yung yan, ultra wide. Kunin natin yung ultra wide niya. Kunin din natin yung mag-zoom tayo ng konti. Two times zoom. Okay. So it in two times zoom. Soft. <laughs> Hindi na siya masyadong detailed. Uh, although understandable lang naman 'yan understandable at this price point. Indoor, medyo soft din yung uh, ultra-wide camera niya. So, for me, I think hindi ito masyadong ideal for indoor usage unless maganda yung ilaw mo. But yung main camera niya, pag hindi naka-zoom, okay naman. I can, I can say that this is decent. Uh, pwede na. 
Ah, uh, ayun. So tapos tayo sa cameras. Nakalimutan ko sa B9 sa mga highlights nito is the speaker. Malakas ang speaker niya tong phone na to. Actually comparable to some mid-range smartphones yung quality ng kanya speaker. I wanna show you guys. Nasaan na yung ano? Mag-play tayo ng connect tayo sa Wi-Fi. Mag-play tayo ng anything. This is the Huawei Music. Uh, Huawei Music meron siyang sarili niyang mga songs. So let's laksan natin ng konti. Ako, nalilinawan ako sa kanya. May konting peaks lang sa high. Highs. Pero, at this price point, this is arguably the best when it comes to the speaker quality. Malinaw siya. Crisp yung details. And merong konting bass response. Yung full specs niya, babanggitin ko mamaya. Uh, actually, nabanggit ko na yung full specs niya eh. Ilalagay ko na lang yung full specs niya sa caps sa comment section. Ay no, may bass ng konti oh. Normally kasi pag ganitong price point, uh, yung bass response halos flat eh. Halos wala eh. Ito meron eh. Actually, comparable nga ito sa ibang mid-range smartphones. So, ibig sabihin, magandang speaker yung ginamit ni Huawei here. Sa headphones, ganun din. So, pag, although hindi ko kayo, hindi ko mapaparinig sa inyo, I tried it with my headphones. Sa headphones ko, okay siya. Uh, hindi siya natural, natural, natural sounding, but it is a bit warm and dark. Meaning, may emphasis siya sa bass and a lot of uh, the netizens naman likes that. Mm, hindi siya hi-fi, obviously Don't expect it to be hi-fi This is a budget smartphone But again, for the price, okay siya So ayan, ito na tayo Fingerprint sensor Mabilis mag-unlock Face unlock Meron siyang lift-to-wake function uh, Mahirap lang ipakita dito But meron siyang lift-to-wake function Pwede na Pwede na Connectivity Ako, happy ako sa connectivity niya May na-signal dito sa room But Nakakakuha pa rin siya ng 4G LTE Sa smart prepaid Even if mahina yung signal sa room Kasi meron siyang band 28, 700MHz 4G LTE Wi-Fi niya 2.4GHz lang Wala siyang 5GHz Wi-Fi Kasi alam mo naman natin This is a budget phone eh Ulit-ulit na tayo eh And then meron pa siyang wireless FM radio Yun yung isa sa mga advantage ng Y series eh Y6 2018 maganda rin yung speaker Oo nga, tama uh, Y6 series Lagi silang merong Wireless FM radio. Nasaan may FM radio na to? FM. Subukan natin. Ayun na, walang earphones niya ba? Oh. Ay, hindi. Kailangan niya. Hindi siya wireless FM radio. So, kailangan mo siya ng, kailangan niya ng earphones. Uh, mali na sa spec sheet nila. So, kailangan ko i-update yung uh, specs na ito. Hindi pala siya wireless FM radio. May nagtatanong, sumut sa ML, hindi ko pa natatry. But, Let's try yung ibang games later Yung mga mas mabibigat na games Like this Call of Duty Mobile And now I wanna talk about the App Gallery App Gallery, this is the place where you can download apps Kasi nga wala siyang Google Play Store So Huawei has launched this solution For uh, allowing its users to still download most of the apps naman So may TikTok siya, may share it Ako marami naman ako nangingita sa kanyang apps So meron kang mga games dito, iba-ibang games, etc, etc mga categories <laughs> to, 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 30 fighting crime kulit naman yan uh, may mga role playing games uh, alam ko lately dumating na rin dito si ano eh may, alam ko may bookie app din eh bookie app is my favorite app na ayan yan yan, yan. Ah, install nga natin si bookie uh, ito pang food and lifestyle kasi may ligaw kumain uh, mamaya ko na siya install baka maglag yung internet natin uh, meron din akong eh, may viber din Food Panda, ayan, so for delivery Food Panda, TikTok, etc, etc. So yung mga nagtatanong, if makakapag-download ka ba ng apps here? Yes, makakapag-download ka ng apps. If you want to use Facebook, may may Facebook din to eh. But link to Facebook. Yan. Link to Facebook website. Download ko ni app na yun eh. Uh, so install natin siya. Pinakita ko lang sa inyo na meron siyang link to a download page ng Facebook. But if you want to install it, punta ka lang sa 
internal storage mo. Kung saan mo siya din download. Ako dito ko siya din download sa Facebook here. O yan, allow. Tayo na natin. Install. Sa app gallery, may mga rewards. Rewards din sila eh. So, minsan may mga pag-game sila doon. Install na rin natin sa Instagram. Diba? Guys, this is Android. Uh, ito, hindi siya compatible. So, kailangan ko siguro ng mas ibang version. Hanap ako na ibang version ng Instagram. Dahil siguro uh, hindi compatible sa chipset nito. But here, ayan, may Facebook na ako. And just log in and okay na siya. Hmm. Gmail. Natanong iba kung makakapaglagay ba ng Gmail dito. Yes. Merong email app si Huawei na pwede mo ilagay yung Google account mo. And nalagay ko yun. yun, 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 yun. That's my email address. Huwag nyo na lang ako email. But that's my email address. So kita naman here yung mga email ko. Okay naman siya. It is working pretty well to, on my end. YouTube. Hmm. YouTube, you cannot install yung YouTube talaga. But you can access it sa browser. Hmm. If you want to install an app ng YouTube, siguro download ka ng YouTube Vance. YouTube Vance is the app na walang ads yung YouTube. So, here. Marami namang shortcuts dito si Huawei na access sa mga apps that most of you will need. So, meron... Yung mga apps na wala sa app gallery, meron siya sa app taken, APK, pure APK, monk, and more. And then... So far, wala naman ako nagiging... Uh, major na problem although may konting hassle lang kasi nga dati sa Google Play lahat nandun na eh di ba? but here may mga kailangan ka pang pagdaanan na ibang setup so simula lang yan kasi Huawei is working really hard on making uh, the app gallery uh, better di ba? Uh, uh, may background play si YouTube Vans ako, mas, ako, hindi ko pa na-install eh, pero ako yun yung gagamitin ko dito YouTube Vans So, sa APK Pure naman, andito naman halos lahat ng apps eh. Ay, may maps din nga pala ako. Na-download kasi pakita ko yung apps na... Alam mo, hindi na-download yung apps. Here we go. Ay, hindi pa. Hindi ka pa na-download. Here we go maps is... This is the parang Nokia maps dati. Maps is compatible dito ah. Pwede kang mag-download ng Google Maps na uh, APK. Hanapin mo lang yung APK ng Google Maps. Ayan. So... So, nagka, sa mga nagtatanong if makakagamit ka pa rin ng maps, yes, makakagamit ka pa rin ng maps using this phone. Ang, actually, sa lahat ng apps na daily usage na ginagamit ko, na ginagamit ko for daily usage is, grab lang yung hindi uh, kumpleto. Gumagana siya, but yung maps niya hindi uh, super accurate. So, kailangan mong i-pinpoint yung location talaga where ka dapat i-pick up. So far, yun lang yung caveat niya. On my end, sa lahat ng ginagawa ko. But, of course, gaming, okay naman. Um, uy, nag, may lindol. Uy, may alert ngayon. Ingat guys, ha? Yung mga taga San Luis Aurora, damage at aftershocks ay inaasahan. So, mag-ingat kayo. So, yes. Buti nga, may mga alerts-alerts na ganyan ngayon, eh. APK Pure to, marami naman to, eh. Available ba ang Play Store sa App Gallery? Of course, hindi pa. <laughs> Mabagal yung internet natin ngayon, sorry. But here, sa APK Pure, pag download mo tong app na to, marami ka dito may kitang um, apps. For example, kailangan mo download si PUBG. Uh, search na lang siya. Apps. Alabas naman yun dyan eh. I just wait kasi mabagal yung internet natin ngayon. I'm sorry guys. Ayan. Ano siya? You can install it. Ah... Uh, Messenger Facebook Messenger Maps Pwede Ayun o Pwede kang mag-install Maraming Halos lahat ng apps naman nandito eh Sa so either APK Pure App Gallery uh, Yun yung mga gamitin mong apps To install apps On this phone Kasi nga wala siyang Google Play Store And that's okay um, Try natin yung Call of Duty Oh <laughs> my <laughs> Subukan natin Kasi this is not marketed as a gaming phone But of course we have to try gaming Alam naman natin time to time may mga naglalaro pa rin Ayan, Napansin ko pala guys Medyo prone siya to fingerprint smudges hmm. Maybe dahil wala siyang Oleophobic coating And Normal naman yun sa mga budget smartphones Sabi ni Valencia Francis Shout out, hello Paano yung Gmail through browser lang? Pwede rin, uh, punta ka lang sa gmail.com 
Yung mga apps naman ni Google talaga kasi originally is uh, based sa based sa web, web based. So mukhang hindi compatible si <laughs> Call of Duty here kasi mabigat na game to eh. So maglalagay ako ng ibang uh, game siguro in the near future to try. Ayan. Ah. Hindi hindi dahil mabagal yung internet ko. Compatible siya. Sorry guys, hindi ka mapapakita sa inyo. Mabagal kasi internet dito sa room dahil nagpe-Facebook Live tayo. Naka-dedicate halos lahat sa Facebook Live natin yung ating internet. So, so far, quick thoughts ko. This is a solid smartphone. Papaos na ako, naubusan na ako ng laway. This is a solid smartphone and this handset is quite good for its 5,890 pesos price tag. Actually, nagulat ako eh. Akala ko kasi 7K to eh. Akala ko 7K pa presyo ni Huawei. But nung in-announce sila, uy, 5,990 tapos may freebies pa na worth 3,000 pesos. Diba? So, for me... Okay siya at that price point. Even if medyo mababa yung chipset niya. Helio P22 octa-core processor. At least hindi quad-core. Pwede na. Yung screen niya malaki. 6.3 inch. Cameras niya are decent but not exceptional. Uh, selfie cam niya. Ako gusto ko yung selfie cam niya. Battery capacity is huge. Huge, huge. 5,000 mAh battery. Fingerprint scanner niya is accurate naman. Pwede siya. Yeah, actually, pwede sila i-compete kay Vivo Y15. Mas mahal pa yun. 8,000 yata si Y15 eh, or 7,000. And this one is just 5,990 pesos. 700 megahertz y, uh, 4G LTE pa. And maganda yung design. Maganda yung design. Sana lang meron siyang case out of the box. But yung unit ko here, walang case out of the box. But again, so far, I am quite impressed with the way Huawei... Uh, release this smartphone so guys that's it uh, this is me Peter of Gizguy.com. happy lunch happy lunch to all of you and please make sure to stay safe lalo ngayong panawan ng COVID-19 uh, sana walang, may, walang magkaroon sa inyo nun guys I really wish that so again stay safe and goodbye